guys, Alexis Fernandez, creator of Park City XOXO. Today we are here at the Park City uh, Garden. So thank you so much for talking to me, Erica. So what's the pumpkin patch really like? So it's just our holiday expression. We have pumpkins that were coming in every week and we put them out in our hay bales and so the kids could come through and pick out the perfect pumpkin for decorating or carving. That's so, that's like so much fun. Have you guys gotten any cool reactions where the little kids are like, oh my goodness, I found the right one. Well, they love it. I mean, there have been so many pumpkins. We started with like warty ones and white ones and some peach colored ones. And now mm -hmm. we've got like some big ones. We had a huge like 30 pound pumpkin. No way. Perfect for jack-o'-lanterns. Is that still here? Uh, most of the big ones got sold. We're on our last, uh, last pumpkin pellets so i think we'll sell out by halloween well i'm super excited talking about all these pumpkins can, can we go inside and check yeah, it out yeah. yeah for sure whoa <laughs> this is just so awesome because i've been here last time and last time as in last year and it's just such a big improvement love it yeah we've been improving all of our holiday stuff every year i think it just keeps expanding and keeps gaining popularity, so it keeps us incentivized to do more. Yeah, you guys doubled, almost tripled the haunted house, and this pumpkin patch is super fun. I love all the pumpkins here to choose from. So many to select. Yeah, they're pretty great. We gotta take care of them when it gets cold because they don't tolerate freezing weather well. Oh yeah, um, I agree. It <laughs> actually happened to our pumpkins at our house. They froze, and then they got all mushy, and we had to throw them out, so. There's that. <laughs> yeah, there you go. We tuck them in every night and put these blankets on them so they don't get too cold. When it snowed, we put all of our pallets in the big barn so they didn't ah. freeze. That's so cool. Can we go check out the pumpkins? Yeah, for sure. Wow. Super fun. Wow. I don't know. If I had to choose one of these pumpkins, I don't I, I like the smaller ones because they're kind of cute, but then yeah. the bigger ones gives you it gives you more space to actually cut out stuff and whatnot. And more seeds for baking. Oh, good point. Good yeah. point. All these benefits. Wow. Have yeah. you guys baked anything with these speaking which? Um, so we used to have pumpkin or pie pumpkins, um, and they were four dollars a piece, but we sold out of those very quickly. There's their flesh is a little more sweet and tender, so they're better for baking, pies or soups or whatever. But those went really quickly, as well as the small mini pumpkins. People love those, and we couldn't yeah. even keep them in the nursery. They're just super cute. So cute. Yeah, I love them. So looking at the big barn in front of us, I've talked to a couple people saying that you guys have kept the pumpkins in there to you know preserve them. Uh -huh. Is that the case? Yeah. So. This is our greenhouse, but over there is our barn. And oh. the tractor would pick up the pallet and just drive all the pumpkins up there. That's super cool. Can we go check it out? Sure. Now we're doing a lot of improvements to the nursery. We've got this hole here that it's gonna be a new greenhouse. Whoa. It's gonna be bigger and better than this one. And then we're building a couple really nice bathrooms for our new coffee shop. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. Super fun idea. For sure. It's going to be really nice to have warm coffee here while we're working in the winter. Selling Christmas trees. Oh, I can't wait for Christmas, speaking of which. Oh, it's yeah. the best holiday. It's Our pairs go all out, trust me. Nice, yeah. We're uh, in deep in decorating mode up in the office. Ah. How long did it take you guys to, you know, complete the expansion with the haunted house as well? Well, they worked um, throughout the summer clearing some of the willows and cleaning up the area just of brush and the stuff that was growing back there. And then the haunted forest, we probably started working on late September. So it was ready to go by October. Wow, you guys have been really into it, especially if you started the summer too. Yeah, for sure. We're always ahead of the holidays. Yeah, that's a great plan. <laughs> Better to be ahead than behind, am I right? Yeah, exactly. Whoa. So this is our flower barn, and there might be some ladies in here making arrangements. But we can Ooh. go over here. I love all you guys' shops. Super nice. Wow. We just organized all the ribbon, and this is where our pumpkins were living for a couple days. 
They're so, it's so beautiful. You guys really embraced it. <laughs> yeah. And they've got all the nice, Floral arrangements getting made in here. Soon this will be like a wreath making zone and oh. the holidays are imminent. Wow, super cool. Do you guys still have pumpkins in here or did you release them out into the wild? Yeah. <laughs> in the pumpkin patch. It warmed up today so they all came back outside. That's so cool. Yeah. I love what you guys are doing here. This is mostly it. We've got the boutique there with all our inside stuff and it's pretty cute. Oh yeah, I think I've gone to the boutique one time. Have you guys expanded that as well or changed anything? Not really. It's all of our indoor plants and um, uh, kitschy items. We've got towels and pots and vases and art in there. It's really cool. Do you guys make the vases and whatnot like from scratch or do you guys hire people? So we order them from a few different companies, um, but one of the women we work with does her own ceramic pots, wow. um, and she does a really beautiful job. At, Have you tried it out? Uh, I made a pot once. Uh, it was cute. Was it hard? It <laughs> yeah. seems like a lot of work, especially when you do it. You know, you know those little spinny things, and then you put the clay on it. Yeah, the wheel. The wheel is hard to uh, master. Technical. Can't go too fast. Can't go too slow. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for talking with us. Yeah, of course. Hi guys, happy Halloween. Today I'm here at Woodward Park City and we are getting ready to go into the skate jam. But as of now, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching to the very end. It means the world to me. And if you guys like this kind of content, it would be so awesome if you could subscribe to my channel. Can't wait to see you all there.